Well, these might be the worst skate shoes I've ever worn. I'm not sure I can wear these much longer. So I was recently at Walmart and I ran across some Airwalks. It's kind of shocking to me. I didn't know Walmart sold skate shoes. They were only $25, so I thought I'd give them a shot. They look pretty decent. Nice, simple design. Anytime I get a new pair of skate shoes, I like to break them in a little bit just by wearing them on a regular day. I did that with these, and uh, it was not a good day. I drove around with them for about 30 minutes, and after that short drive, my right foot started hurting. Kind of on the top of my right foot. That's very weird. Uh, there was no like, pressure there that I noticed. Uh, so I'm not sure why it started hurting. Um, also, one thing I noticed is that they're very large. I wear 10 and a half, and these are a 10 and a half. Comparing them to these Braille Progress Daily shoes, they don't sell half sizes, so I purchased a size 11. The Airwalks feel bigger than these size 11 Braille shoes. Uh, also, one thing uh, that I noticed right off the bat is the bottom of the shoes do not feel flat. It feels like there's something in the shoe. It feels like I can rock my foot back and forth lengthwise. Now, I don't know if it's this embossed airwalk written on the bottom here, or if there's something inside of the sole of the shoe, uh, but it's very uncomfortable. Comparing them to these braille shoes, which also has something written on the bottom, I can't feel any of this. This is perfectly flat, and I've put these shoes on. They feel perfectly flat. I understand it is ironic that the Braille shoes, I can't feel the Braille on the Braille shoes, and I can feel the airwalk on the bottom of the airwalks. You can't judge a shoe from just walking around in them, so let's skate. These shoes are so big. Goodness gracious. Oh. That actually hurt my heel. I just want to try pop shove it on the way back to a front side pop shove it and on the way back to a switch front side pop shove it just see if I can do that little line Before I do that line, because I know what's going to happen, I'll be able to get the pop shove in the front side, pop shove it, and then I'm going to keep messing up on the switch. So I'm going to try to work on the switch, pop shove it first, then, then start the line. Damn, that was good. Ugh. Cancel that. You ever do that where you land, a, land it the first time 
for one of the first few times and then you can't land it again? Yep. Don't hit the camera. Yeah. Ah. Ah, weak, weak, weak. Okay. There we go. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't have it down yet, but I'm going to go ahead and go for it. Oh, I'm not even going to get past the front side pop shot it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to take that. didn't pop that one good. Oh, no. All right, one down. Two down. Yeah. <laughs> Got overconfident there and didn't pop that tray flip. <laughs> Where is the pop? I don't normally have an issue with pop, so I think it's just because I haven't been out here in a few weeks. I just have a, a pop weakness. All right, that time I landed on my right heel and it hurt, so these shoes just don't have much cushion. So uh, definitely do not recommend at least buying them from Walmart. And it's possible that I got a pair of defective shoes and the rest of them are all fine. Who knows? <laughs> uh. That was fun. Ah, damn it. Woo. I'm gonna have to land one of these soon because I can't take two more of these uh these uh misses with these shoes. Yay! Ah Alright, so conclusion. These shoes suck, so I will not be wearing them anymore. I haven't decided which shoes I'm gonna wear next. I have five or six that I can choose from. Uh, so I'll probably have to do some kind of random drawing because I'm unsure which ones I wanna try. Maybe that'll be the next video. Later. <laughs>